In Illustrator, like many of the other Adobe applications, you are surrounded by panels and also menus. Now some of the panels themselves have menus associated with them. But before we talk about those, let's talk about how we can move the panels around. If you look here, on top of this panel, which is our tools, we have this gray bar and we also have this little dotted line bar, which is a grabber bar. If you want to move this guy and undock it, simply click on this little gray bar and then move it anywhere you want and let go of your mouse. And now this panel is a floating panel, which means it's no longer docked into position. If I want to dock it somewhere else, I simply click on the gray bar and I'll move it until I see a blue line. And hopefully you guys can see that blue line is extending down here. And when I let go of the mouse, it locks on and becomes a part of this panel. So now if I tear off the gray bar, we now have what's called a super panel. And we have these two guys living together, which is kind of cool. So I can go ahead and move those around no matter which one I grab. If I want to tear off this guy now, I go to this little gray dotted line area and click and pull it off. And this is really helpful when you want to make your own panels. So I can take this gray bar here, tear that off, and tear that one off, and so on. And I can make my own sets. So I can now take this bar here and come up to this guy here. And when I see the blue line, lock it on, and I have a new super panel. And I can do the same thing. So I can go ahead and tear that off and put that there. And I can really customize this to my liking. And now I have one super panel here. And when I click on one of the icons, the tool that's associated with it opens up. And this is a nice way to have everything where you want it to go. Now, by the way, if you decide that you don't like this and you don't want to really bother with trying to remember how it used to be, just go up to where it says Essentials or wherever you have up here and simply click on the name again. So I click on Essentials and it goes back to the factory default. Now that we talked about panels, let's talk a little bit more about some of the functionalities that you'll find in some of the panels. For example, some of the menus. I'll go ahead and grab, let's see, the gradient one. And I'll just tear this one off. If you look over here in the upper right hand corner, we have a drop down list. And I can choose to hide the options, which collapses the gradient so I can just focus on the gradient itself. Some of the menus do that, they let you hide or show options. And some of the other ones, let me go ahead and tear off the swatches, have the ability to have a lot more inside of them. So these change based on the panel that you're working with. So you can consider these guys menus within a panel, which is very handy. And even down here, you have menus based on what you're doing. So you'll have menus on the bottom of panels, on the sides of panels. And speaking of menus, of course, we have our main menu, which is up here. Now, most applications have a menu bar that's at the top of the application. In the case of Illustrator, that is indeed true. So in the main menu, we can access a lot of the functionality of the application. And in certain cases, you'll see a shortcut key at the end of the line. And this tells you what you could press on your keyboard to access this particular function. In the case of quitting Illustrator, we will press Command or Control Q based on the platform you're on. So if you're on a Mac, it's Command. If you're on a Windows PC, it's Control. And of course, a lot of the functions give you the ability to work faster in the application. So one of the things I want to suggest, especially for people who are new to Illustrator or any of these applications, one of the secrets to kind of not looking like the rookie in art department is to know the most important keyboard shortcuts. So you know, you want to spend some time learning the shortcuts so you're not always going to the menu bar and finding a function doing some artwork, going back to the menu, and finding a function. Now, I don't suggest learning all of the shortcuts, but pretty much the ones that are important, like grouping, undo, redo, saving, printing, you know, that kind of thing. So that is a quick look at how we can use the panels, how we can rearrange them, how we can put them back to the way they were, and also a quick look at the main menu, where all of the functions in Illustrator live.